Using Adobe InDesign CS4, you can not only lay out documents for print, but you can also lay out interactive flash documents. To do that, we're going to export to the new XFL file format. XFL files can be opened by flash and are archived files that contain layout information and assets. I'll export the file by choosing File, Export, and then I'll choose the format, which is going to be Adobe Flash CS4 Pro XFL. For the file name, I'll call it Check Magazine Web P2 because I'm just going to export page 2. Then I'll click Save. In the Export Adobe Flash CS4 Professional dialog, you can choose a scale for the file, you can fit to a certain pixel width, or you can specify the pixel dimensions that you want to export to. I'm going to choose Scale, and I'll choose 100%. For Pages, you can choose All Pages or select a range. I'll select a range and have the range be two pages. I'm going to leave Spreads checked, leave Rasterized Pages unchecked, and then check Flatten Transparency. When you're exporting text from InDesign to Flash, you have three options. You can export InDesign text to Flash text, making the text editable. You can export to vector paths to better preserve appearance. Or you can export text to a raster image to completely preserve the appearance of the text. I'll choose InDesign text to Flash text. Then I'll click OK to export the XFL file. Now I'll move over to Flash and open the XFL file. To open an XFL file, choose File, Open, and then select the XFL file to open. I'll zoom out a little bit so that I can see the whole file in Flash. I'll do that by choosing View, Magnification, Fit in Window. Here you can see the exact same layout that I created in InDesign, and now it's in Flash. When you open an XFL file in Flash, Flash uses that information to create an FLA file. If you look in the library, you'll see the bitmap assets that were used in InDesign, and then you'll see movie clips for the pages that you exported. Here we just have page 2, so we have spread 2 as a movie clip. Since Flash uses the XFL file to create an FLA file, the file is not saved when you create it, so I'll save it now. I'll choose File, Save As, and then choose a file name for the file. I'll call it checkmagazine.fla and then save the file. Once you have the file in Flash, you can add any interactivity that Flash can add. So for example, I can add animations, action script code, or any other Flash elements to this file. I'm going to double click the movie clip on the stage to enter its timeline. Inside of the timeline in this movie clip, you can see that the text is still editable just as we exported it from InDesign. So if I double click cover story here, I could change the text if I want to. And you'll see that other assets are selectable. So if I use the selection tool, I can select the pieces of the check text and then create a symbol out of them. I'll choose modify, convert to symbol, to take this element and make a symbol out of it. I'll call it check, choose movie clip for the type, and then click OK. Now I'll put this movie clip on another layer and apply an animation to it. I'll select the movie clip, choose edit, cut, to cut it from layer 1, create a new layer, and I'll name the new layer Check, and then use the Paste in Place command by choosing Edit, Paste in Place, to paste the movie clip in the same place that I cut from. Now I'll apply a motion preset animation to this movie clip. I'll choose Window, Motion Presets, and then in the Custom Presets area, I've imported a few custom animation presets. I'll select Air Mag Plus, and then click Apply, to apply the animation. Now I'll close the Motion Presets panel and then I'll extend the timeline in layer 1 to frame 12 by selecting frame 12 and pressing F5 on my keyboard. Now I'll click and drag the playhead to preview the animation. I can also add action script code here. So I'll create a new layer above check and I'll call it Actions. I'll select the last frame of the Actions layer, press F7 to create a blank keyframe, and then open the Actions panel by pressing Option F9 on the Mac or F9 on the PC. In the Actions panel, I'll write a stop action to make the playhead stop when the movie plays. And then I'll close the Actions panel. Then we'll test the movie to see the complete animation. 
I'll test the movie by choosing Control, Test Movie. So using Flash and InDesign together, you can leverage the layout powers of InDesign, and you can add interactive elements using Flash. Now this is just a simple example, but I've created a file that shows a more complex example of interactivity in Flash. So I'm going to choose File Open, and I'll open another FLA file. I'll zoom out by choosing View, Magnification, Fit and Window. In this file, you can see that there's action script code, frame labels, and the timeline is organized into keyframes. If I click and drag the playhead, you can see the different pages in the application. Now I'll test the movie to show the interactivity that you can add in Flash. I'll choose Control, Test Movie. And so you can see animations, and we can add interactivity or any other elements that you want to in Flash. So by using InDesign and Flash together, you can use your layout powers in InDesign to create interactive Flash applications.